Okay, we're here. Um, we went inside. The furnace is um, sending power out. Thermostat's working. Furnace is working. We come outside, and our board is showing an H5 error code, which is a lockout. And a lockout for P2. And if you look at P2, low pressure protection. So um, it looks like possibly there's some oil over here. The system was pressed. So uh, we're going to see. It looks like there's no insulation on the suction line here. Um, this fucking disconnect box isn't mounted to the wall properly. Whole nine yards going on here. So. Um, None of this is done right. Well, I mean, it's okay. It's just whew, should have replaced the lines out with a system like this. So um, right now we're letting everything de-energize. We're gonna hook up our gauges just to make sure. I know you can look at the pressure transducer numbers on there, but honestly, I don't know it by heart, and I'm not gonna uh, what you call it. <clears throat> I'm not gonna go get you know the book out and everything. I'll just throw my freaking gauges on it. I want to see if it truly is locking out on low pressure or what. The system has not been maintained. Um, the client does not. So we're gonna, we're gonna see what's going on here. We'll get back to you. We just plugged our power back in. We're hooked up on our gauges. 50, 150. We're equalized. Motor's turning on. Fan motor. Reading 49 on there. The numbers are just doing that on the camera. Ramp it up. And we're going to wait to hear our reversing valve. Let's see what happens on these numbers. There's our reversing valve. Because I forget there's a five minute delay. Some juice, do some juice in there. She's really low. Um, so obviously we have a leak. We've got the old leak detector out. Let's see if we can't find anything, anything crazy. You never know. Let's see if anything's coming out of there. Behind the flare nut, in front of the flare nut. Let's see if it's leaking on these fittings. Looks like it. Or it may just be coming from back there. There's definitely a leak. Let's test our suction fittings here. Insulation for this guy. I love the lighted tip on this uh, diode. It's great. So even if you 
located here if you're deaf. So, you know that that bad boy's licking him. Yeah, bad licking. Really licking. Everything I put in, I think it's just pissing out here. Just to be thorough here, you know. Alright, now let's go hit it inside. Down here to our system. Let's see if we have anything going on down here. So the system is low on juice. We have found uh, the leak right between the sight glass. Obviously something's happened um, because there's a kink here in this line. Um, gonna fill it up for now so he has some heat. I don't want him using all emergency heat so we're gonna fill it up for now. We're gonna come back, we'll recover the charge um, and then we will go ahead cut out over here.
shut this valve down. And we're good to go. In. I didn't have a sweat fitting for there, so I just pressed it and followed the contour of the pipe as best as possible. Push that in. Holds, charge her up, and then uh, throw the shredder pins back in. We're out of here. Just finished charging up. Take a look at our split here. Five degrees on the supply. 